Hey guys, so I know a few of y'all, okay not a few of y'all, quite a lot of y'all have reached out to me and are asking for the replay of the Shopee Mother's Day card making video and they have sent it to me but I just checked and the audio doesn't sync up and I know that you guys really really want to do the cards. Who else you be so last minute, right? Only make your cards now. But if you want to make your cards in time for Mother's Day, I will be teaching you guys how to do this today. I won't be doing it on a real piece of paper. I'll be doing it on my iPad because it's easier for you guys to see. So let's just jump into it and I will use just a solely black pen. So just use your black pen and I'll use the black pen uh, version on my iPad. This is going to be a very simple card that you want to make for Mother's Day. And I hope that your loved ones will be blessed by it. So without further ado, let's start. So as you can see, the first thing in this card, right, is that there is a little plank. So what you want to do is just draw two horizontal lines. Okay, that's really bad. Sorry, hold on. Two horizontal lines. It doesn't need to be perfect. So you don't really need to use a, a ruler because it's a plank, right? So it's, it, it's okay, there are some imperfections. And then after that, you can draw a little jaggly edge at the side. And then just draw one line here and two lines here to indicate cracks in the plank. After that, what you need to do is outline the outside of the plank on the right hand side and just complete it. And then you just have to shade it in like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom in closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm using the iPad so that it's easier for y'all to see and I don't have to care about the lighting because it's well lit. Yeah, okay, so this is the plank of which you will write your mom's name or you can write Happy Mother's Day inside. Next, we'll go to the flower. So how you want to do the first flower, right? And I want to um, remind y'all that when we do florals, we will use three big flowers and then add in the filler floral. So in my case, the three big florals will go probably around here, around here, and around here. It's all of different levels and all on different vertical planes. So that's just FYI if you're thinking of where to position your flowers. So the first flower will look something like this. Just draw your little bud, colour it in, and then do the first petal, do the second petal, and the petals don't have to be uh, perfect. It just has to be petal-like. So the trick here, right, is that to, look to make flowers look realistic, real petals have folds in it and it's not all 2D. So how you can add that effect is to just add a little fold at the side, a little fold at the bottom, maybe a little fold here as well, and then just shade that in because that's the back part of the petal. And then after that, um, you can add a few lines here because these are the flower veins and it really starts making your entire, just one flower look really, really realistic. Yeah, so follow me as we do this. Yeah, so that's it. You have your first flower. Yay, great job. Okay, so after that, you just draw down the stem and then do a loose line next to it. Yeah, so that's how your first flower looks like and it's not really centered. So on the iPad, I can move it, but you guys center it on your paper. So the next flower I wanna do will be this similar looking flower, but I'm gonna draw a big oval first and then inside I'm just gonna draw circles so that there's different textures. So one thing that you need to note about flowers, right, when you draw the petals is that no matter what you do, always try and draw odd numbers of petals. If you draw like even numbers, like four petals or six petals, it will look slightly odd and I can't really tell you why, but yeah, just do what I do, okay? Okay, so draw your next flower. This one, you can maybe make sure make the leaves like not overlap. Okay, so sorry, like if you guys see, right, I'm drawing over this um, first flower stalk. So actually when you do it, maybe you don't want to do the stalk at all. So let me erase that and draw the stalk in last. My bad. 
I hope that you haven't drawn it in. But if you have, it's okay. Um, just draw behind. Okay, actually, I should, I should show you all what I mean by draw behind, right? <laughs> okay, so what I mean, sorry, is just draw behind. So this current flower will be behind the first flower and there's no biggie. So if you see for my first flower, right, I drew all the leaves and they don't overlap over each other. For this second flower, I'm going to make one of the petals overlap. So here's how I do it. I overlap it like that. So this, this part, right, didn't go all the way down. I started a new petal and I didn't complete that. So this one can be similar. I complete it here. And then the last one, maybe I can start here and then complete it outside. And similarly, do the, the folds in your petal leaves and do your petal veins. It really like makes it look very realistic and it's so simple. Oh yes, and I forgot to shade in the petal folds like I told you guys. So there you have it. You're done with your second flower. So now the third flower we go along would be around here. So maybe I just want to do, okay, no. Like I want to do a small oval and then a big oval around it just for a different kind of like butt. And then this one will be very, very thin petals all around. Yeah, it's quite idiot proof. So as long as you guys follow along, I'm pretty sure that your flowers will turn out great. And if you think that there are too little petals or there are some like empty spaces, you can always fill it in. Yeah, and so next, all you have to do is draw in your stems to the bottom. I love that this piece, right, is just really, really simple, but the more uh, florals you add to it, right? The more sophisticated it looks. And if you've seen like some of you amazing people actually drew this in black and white and then painted it in, it looks great as well. So good job on that. It looks better than mine. Okay, so now we're done with our three big uh, main florals. Now we're going to add in the filler florals. So one filler floral that I can teach you would be, let's just draw the stem in first, would be the like, what do you call it? A fern? A fern floral? I don't know. So you basically just draw like ovals with pointy bottoms and then just oval pointy bottom all the way. I'm not making any sense now. Today has been a really long day. I spent the entire day like helping my dad set up his website for his wines. So yeah, I'm like juiced out but I know that y'all want to really make cards for your mom. So doing this up quickly for y'all. All right, so that's the next. I'm doing exactly the same thing. So you see, right, if the leaves are very close to each other and you're scared of it overlapping, just continue drawing it as if it's behind. So you don't have to draw over and then like get very messy. Just draw the leaves as it will be behind your first like stock, if you get what I mean. Yeah. Don't have to be afraid that, oh my gosh, like they're so close together because actually the less space you have at the end of the day, the, the more sophisticated your entire piece looks. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the, set, the first filler floral. The second filler floral will be, um, maybe I want to do it around like this area. So I'll do that. If you are afraid of placement and you're scared that like the flowers won't balance out as a whole, it's useful if you want to like draw the stalks in first. So you see like I'm drawing the stalks in first and I, I know like kind of where I want the florals going later. Okay, so I have three stalks. So for this next flower, we're going to do um, rounded triangles. This is how you do it. And a difference, the difference between this filler floral and the pointy bottomed oval fern floral, right? Is that you can do like two leaves, maybe together, and just alternate it. So it's less like predictable and uniform. Yeah, and you can do a smaller one. 
I hope you guys are following along. It's it's way easier, right, if you do it as I do it versus like watch this at one shot and try to recreate it because it's easier la, like when you follow along and do it real time. Yeah. So here I just want to add a few more. And I'm adding it all the way down, right? Because there is a lot of space around here. So I want to just continue and fill in that space. Yeah, okay, so that's the second floral. And the last floral will be um, a little bud. So that will be maybe around here. We can do this. Okay, so for this bud, right, super simple. Draw an oval and then add something on at the side. Very simple, it's just like a little budding flower that hasn't blossomed yet. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, um, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you and tag me in your creations definitely because I would love to see what you do for your mamas. Okay, so that's kind of it. Um, it's all the, sa the same florals I've done here, but as you can tell, right, every single floral piece will turn out differently. So in this case, I feel like I want to add in a bit more florals because it's very empty here and it's very empty here. So one thing that I think is very, very easy to add in would be leaves. So a leaf could look very simply like this. And if you want to add in leaves here, right? Basically, you just draw one line, right? And then you draw another line. So these are the stalks. And then to draw and complete the leaf in, you start from the end, and then you just complete it like that. Really simple, really easy. But of course, if yours is already um, full, you don't have to do this. I'm only doing this because I want to balance out the entire piece. Yep. And I think that maybe here, I want another like triangular leaf. Yeah. All right. So with that, you have your entire flower art piece. So now what you can do is if you have a brush pen, or if you don't have a brush pen, um, let me teach you really quickly how to write mom. So I'm just going to do a, another layer on this so that I can do it twice. So when you want to write mom, like just do it in a normal pen handwriting. And how you do full calligraphy, right, is that downstrokes are thick, upstrokes are thin. So since you see like this is a downstroke, this is thick. So I will draw it thicker and then just shade it in. And I would draw it thicker and then just shade it in. And then this is also a downstroke, so I'll shade that side in. This is also a downstroke. This is a downstroke. And this is a downstroke. Yep, so there you have it. Mom! So that's um, the first thing that you can do if you want to have a card that's really, really simple. Another thing you can do is also, um, if you want to put your mom's name and you want to do like Happy Mother's Day at the bottom, this is how it can look like. Just shift your entire um, bouquet up very, very slightly so that there's more space at the bottom. And then at the bottom, you can write Happy Mother's Day in caps lock. So I found that if you, if you write um, your text in caps lock, right? Okay, I'm not writing it really well. And you just like space it apart. It looks very aesthetic because it gives off that minimalist feels. Yeah. So you see? And then if my mom's name is Celine and if I have a brush pen, uh, it would look something... Okay, let me do a new layer. It would look something like this. If my mom's name is Celine, There. Or you can, of course, like 
if you don't want Celine, I call my mom. Mumsy. Yeah, so that's all. It's a really simple card. I hope that y'all were able to follow along. And if you're doing this last minute, because it's Mother's Day tomorrow, it's not too late. It literally only took me 20 minutes. So if you want to add on anything after this, you could definitely paint it in or you can leave it as it is because black and white is in trend these days. And, you, and I'm pretty sure that if you manage to draw this out, it looks great on its own already and your mom will definitely appreciate. Don't forget to show some love to your grandmother, your helpers and other mother figures in your life as well. And I hope that this um, sharing has blessed you guys. So if you have any questions, feel free to like comment below. I will try my best to reply tonight, but I also <laughs> need to rest because it's been a very long day. So I'll, I'll try to reply as soon as I can. I hope that it has been good. Bless you guys. Catch you again soon. And if you think that this was useful and want me to do more tutorials, I would love to. So let me know and bye for now. God bless.